pointing breeds. There are variations on the pointing breeds ranging from German shorthaired pointers such as we have here with Lexi, to English pointers, to Brittany's, to Vesalas. At Stuyvesant Outdoor Adventures, we currently have two types of pointing breeds. English pointers, which are, as their name implies, from an English breed, and they are a, the, the ultimate uh, stylish pointing dog. Uh, they range in size from 45 to 60 pounds. Uh, they have long tails, and when they go on point, when they find a bird, they lock up and their tail becomes almost a 12 o'clock high point. Extremely stylish. However, that is where their role ends in the hunting process. Um, as the hunters approach the bird, flush the bird, shoot the bird, the dog stays on point, and it's the hunter's job to retrieve that bird while the dog stays on point. The other type of pointing dog that we have here at Stuyvesant is the German shorthand pointer. Perhaps, perhaps the most versatile of all the upland bird dogs. The breed was developed in Germany in the late 19th century and was built to be able to, it was, it was genetically developed to be able to hunt all types of game, both large games such as wild pigs and deer, right on down, quail, pheasant, and partridge. Uh, a combination of hounds brought this dog to popularity in the United States, particularly in the last 20 or 30 years. Um, Lexi is a three-year-old female. She weighs 50 pounds, which is about an average weight for a female. Males can weigh, on average, about 65 pounds. Extremely muscular dog, capable of running two or three hours in the field under ideal conditions, only requiring water without tiring. An extremely versatile dog. These dogs will typically range in front of the hunters anywhere from 35 to 65 to 75 yards until they find a bird. Once they find a bird, like the English pointer, they will lock up on the bird and wait until the hunters and the handler approach and flush the bird. Unlike the English pointer, however, the German pointer will retrieve that bird on command to the hunter's hand a truly versatile dog. When these dogs run, and typically, they, as I said, they'll run out 65, 75 yards, they are generally run with a bell. And the purpose of that is to be able to locate the dog when they are sometimes out of sight, which can often happen. Oftentimes, when we hunt these dogs here at Stuyvesant, uh, we actually use them in combination with flushing dogs. And particularly with the English pointers, we'll get the pointer on point and then use a flushing dog to actually flush the bird and retrieve it. In the case of the German shorthair, she can do it all.